Hey, what's going on guys? It is uh, the Riffmaster here, and uh, today I want to just kind of talk face to face with you guys about something that I've been dealing with all my life, and um, I'm pretty much going to just uh, explain to you guys now. Um, it has to do with my guitar playing ability, kind of. Um, it hasn't really affected me too much in any way, but um, it definitely does hold me back from uh, achieving what I want to do on guitar. Now, um, when I was born, I know it's going to sound kind of funny, but when I was born, uh, the doctor told my parents that there was too much testosterone inside me, and that if your child has signs of like early puberty or something, just go back to the doctor or whatever. Um, I didn't have that, actually. Um, I kind of went around the average time, 13, 14. Um, so, but the thing that did happen to me, that my, neither my parents nor I didn't realize was wrong until about I was seven or eight years old and that is pretty much what's been keeping me um, behind from achieving like guitar a lot because I've been playing guitar for six or seven years now and it's pretty yeah it's been seven years and I was seven and that's why I started playing guitar and my teacher well I, for the whole for my whole life, I had like really small hands. Like if you compared my hand to someone else's hand, their hand would be like up here. But um, I was born with really small hands and really stubby hands. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this in any of my other videos, but like my knuckles kind of like disappear whenever I go into like full hand. It's crazy, but like I really, it's not like it. It stops my fingers from like growing, sort of. They still do grow, it's just that they don't grow at a normal rate that a normal uh, average person would grow. Um, and there, this um, knuckle right here is fine, but that, so that finger has grown sort of normally. And with my hand, uh, my ring finger is bigger than my middle finger, and usually on people's hands, uh, their ring finger is sort of bigger than their, their middle finger is bigger than their ring finger. but my fingers kind of go in a slant, and it's it's weird. And no one in my family noticed this, so I, until I pointed it out at like seven years old, and I wanted to see how big my hands were getting, so I put them up to like my dad's, and he said, "Wow, that's really weird. Why is why are your fingers like that?" I said, "I don't know." So um, yeah, and that my stubby fingers and the fact that they don't grow much. I don't have long bony fingers, which pretty much you do need um, for playing guitar. But I've been able to work through it, and um, yeah, so I've been able to work through it, um, it's just, like I said, I can't achieve, like, really good solos, like, which pretty much on pentatonic scales and stuff, all over the guitar, because my fingers are not grown fully, and I don't think that they will be grown fully until I'm maybe about, maybe, late 20s, I don't know. It's, it's just, I don't know, I'm gonna have small hands forever, and it, I, I'm not, like, I'm an average sized kid. I'm like maybe 5'7, I think. I'm like, yeah, 8th grade, 5'7. I think I'm normal size. But um, that has definitely been my issue with playing guitar all these years, and it hasn't. I can still play songs, and that's why I started this channel to teach you guys what I know. Now, am I going to be teaching you guys crazy solos? No. So if that is what you're looking for in a channel, then I suggest you don't come to me. But if you're just looking for great tuto uh, good tutorials, um, pretty much that I have down pat, I am going to show you guys. If you guys want to know how to tune a guitar a certain way, how to do this, do that, what to buy, you just come to me and I, I'll give it to you. So, um, not like, come to, like, come to the channel and I'll uh, show you. So, um, yeah, also you can just comment what songs you want. I'll try to learn them. If I know them already, I'll have a video up by maybe tomorrow or the day after. And um, if I don't know them, I'll do my best to learn them and get them out there as quickly as possible. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I just wanted to get that out there in case anyone, like, in the near to late future were to say, like, Oh, how come you don't, like, do this? How come you can't do this? Like, what's wrong with your fingers? Like, I, I want to save all the explanation in, like, comments and stuff, all, like, arguments and stuff, and just want to get it out in this video. So if anyone says that, I'll just uh, comment back to them with a link with this video, 
Um, if anyone has further questions as to what I've gone through with my whole... I don't want to call it like a disorder, because it's not. It's just like... It's just weird. It was just this weird condition. Um, I don't know. It's very rare. I'm not really sure. But um, I, as I get older and start to drive and stuff, then I guess... I guess I could um, just kind of go to a doctor, maybe see what actually happens, see if I can actually get it fixed. Then maybe I can get to that full potential that I want to get to of uh, doing great solos and stuff. But um, in the meantime, this is what I have to work with. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, I guess leave it a like. If you didn't, just dislike it. I, like I said, I just wanted to get this topic out there just in case, like, like I said before, and he's like, oh, why can't you do this and stuff? I just want to get this out there. So, um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. The Riffmaster, signing out.